Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maze Troll Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Maze Troll. If you have suggestions for future videos, or if there is something special you want to see, be sure to let me know down in the comments. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to tap on the lathe using the main spindle. My machine does not have rigid tapping, so I need to use a floating tap holder, but the programming, I believe, is the same as the newer machines that have rigid tapping capability. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is create a new program. So we're going to push the left button, go to Program, Program File, and I'm going to select a work number that's not listed up here. I'm going to select work number 70, so let's go back to program, type in work number, 70, input, and it couldn't find it because it's a new program. So push the program button, Mazatrol or EIA, going with Mazatrol. Workpiece material is aluminum. Outer diameter workpiece is 3.25. Inner diameter workpiece is zero. Workpiece length is two inches long. Max spindle RPM limit. This is the G50 for the entire program. I don't want to run the chuck past 2000 RPM. Finish allowance on X. I usually go 10 thousandths on X and 5 thousandths on Z. And we don't have any stock removal of the work face. Because this is just drilling and tapping the end of the part, the finish allowance up here is not going to do anything for us. So next thing we're going to do is push the down arrow, push the three buttons, M code, cool and on, down arrow. Now what we're going to do is going to drill a spot face in the part. So push the three arrows, push drill, uh, number one packing, the hole diameter this is a 45 or a 90 degree spot face and I'm going to drill a diameter of 400 thousandths with it. So go 0.4. Depth of first cut, we can just hit auto for the feeds and speeds. And then the tool number, if we push tool data, it's number 14 because it's a half inch diameter. So go back to program. So tool 14, input, offset number one. Starting point is zero. The final point is going to be 200 thousandths deep to give me a 400 thousandths chamfer diameter on the spot face. So 0.2, down arrow. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to drill down into the part So drill, number one packing, the drill diameter uh, In this example I'm going to use a 3 8 16 tap uh, And it has a drill diameter of 0.312 Depth of first cut, auto and then it's tool number 13, offset one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill it one inch deep. And then, so we can watch the tap run, I'm going to shut off the coolant. And then put a program stop in the machine to add oil to the part. So let's put a program stop in here. Push the three arrows. I'm going to do a manual program. I want to go to the exchange point of tool. I have to give it a gear number, so gear one, and the tap is tool 15. So what I'm going to do is slow the spindle down to 100 RPM, turn off the coolant, 
and then stop the program. So what this will do, because it'll pick up this tool, but if we don't have a spindle speed in here, it's going to run it at the same speed as the drill. And if I leave this, if I put an M5 in here, it's going to turn off the spindle, and then it's going to turn the spindle back on when it does the tapping at this speed, and then decelerate to the tapping speed. So adding a 100 RPM here tells the machine, slow down and then stop. So shape in. So now what we're going to do is get into the tapping portion. And that's here with the tap. Nominal sides of the tap. On this older control, the nominal sides of the tap is 0.375. The pitch is 0.0625. And that's from crest to crest on the tap. So this is a 3 8 16 tap. And it has a 0 0.0625 pitch. That's how this older machine's programmed. Surface speed, we can push auto. And it gives us 40 surface feet per minute for this tap. It might be a little fast. I'm going to slow it down to 20 on this example because this is using a floating tap holder. The machine has to decelerate the spindle, stop it, and then accelerate and then go backwards. I have the spindle acceleration parameters reduced on this machine, so it actually takes a little longer to stop and start. So I want to slow down the tapping speed so I don't over over travel the tap and break it. Uh, gear number, we don't need that. Uh, tool number, it's tool 15, offset one. Starting point is zero. Final point, I'm gonna put in 0.5, down arrow, and then shape in. And then right button, figure check. And then store, scale, So now, this first line is our counter bore, but it doesn't show the 90 degree hole in it. This is our drilled depth, one inch deep, and this is our tap depth at a half inch deep. So I'm going to run this tool path check, and I want to show you an important part with the tapping. Depends on how the parameters are set up is what's going to happen on the tap. So let's go and watch that now. So go back to program, left button, go to program, check, check continue, and it's going to peck the part, check step, I'm going to toolpath erase it, and then check continue. I'm going to just go check step line by line because I want to show this tap. So right now it moved into a depth of 6875 which is far deeper than our half inch depth. And that's based on a parameter in the machine. And if I push check continue, it's going to go away. So what I'm... The way the parameters are set from the factory, the incomplete threads on the front of the tap is compensated to go deeper. So that way your tap depth, it'll do a half inch depth of full thread. Whereas the extra it's driving in is the incomplete part of the thread. So right here, so parameter U54 
allow for tap incomplete thread ridge. Use to add the offset value to the tap path value. And it's the tap pitch times U54 divided by 10. And right now, in the parameters, U54 from the factory had 30 in the parameter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear that out and put this at a zero parameter, U54 to zero, and now I'm going to rerun the toolpath. So program check, toolpath erase, check continue. And then we'll check it, step it, single block. And then it went to half inch exactly as it was programmed. It did not compensate for the incomplete portion of the tap. So this is very important when you're drilling it down an inch deep, you don't tap it an inch deep you have to tap it a ways back a half inch deep because the machine is going to add an extra couple of revolutions in order to have a half inch full thread tap. If parameter U54 had anything in it. And again, whatever the machine does on the program check screen is exactly what it's going to do in the machine. So if you don't want it to go past, then go to the parameters and clear out parameter U54 to zero. So right now we're done programming. So what I'm going to do is set the work shift and then call up the program and then run the part. All right, let's set the work shift. I have a tool called up that I've already probed. So right there, go to program, program file, Z offset teach, zero, input, auto, work number, 70, and we're at zero on the face of the part, trace, and there's the turning tool. And we're ready to run this part. All right, push auto, turn on the coolant, and let's go. Let's add a little oils. And cycle start.
And we got a thread. And there's our part with a tapped hole in the end of it. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. Also, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.